What's good, Poker people? Welcome to another upload, and I'm sorry. I'm very sorry for the lack of uploads recently. It's just because it was like Christmas, and I got sick after that, like for at least a week, so I couldn't upload that. And I uh, went to Austria for skiing and all that shit, and um, I forgot to bring my mic, so I could not do anything. But I got for you a few battles, and um, which I will upload most likely. And um, yeah, so I will be um, uploading more frequently now, just because I am not sick and I'm back. I'm at home now, and as you can see, I'm um, playing as Dundeal Showdown. He has he's a pretty cool YouTuber, and if you know him, uh, then you know that he has some very very cool and um, different sets. So basically, I had no idea what the fuck ever what 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 something on his team, like what I have no idea what these things do, basically. So um, I'm not gonna go into detail with my team because I will upload a showdown knife with it because I think it's very cool. But let's get just right into the battle. I just leave up my scarf genesect just because it's standard lead. I decide to go um, for straight for an ice beam, not wanting to play games, especially because. Um, you know, U-turn would have done nothing, and I knew knew that he was going for uh, the Volt Switch. And uh, right here, he switches out into his Life Heart. He goes to the Copycat Volt Switch. So uh, it's like very, very weird. I did not expect that at all. Uh, I just go for Ice Beam on his Azumarill. I thought that the best thing that could check my uh, uh, check Azumarill is my own Azumarill, but he just but he. Uh, just surprised me with the whirlpool. That is very interesting, um, and he is probably the sap super set as I realized that. But um, he goes for Paris song this turn as I decided to go for Belly Jump because that's the best thing I could do because um, I am trapped and I can't do anything. So uh, because he has Paris song, I know that he has protect probably, but I couldn't do anything either way. I just decided to go for the waterfall once again because it hits everything on his team really hard. Uh, plus. Six waterfall. Uh, at this point, uh, he just goes to another power song, and I knew that uh, waterfall does a huge chunk to anything on his team, so I had no reason to go for the um, uh, superpower. But as it turns out, the character gets water absorb, which I did not knew at all at that time. So if I if I knew that, then um, then I would have just gone for a superpower. But I decided to go for the Dragon Knight because I saw that nothing resists fire. Uh, it's um, it's outrage. But then realizing that this thing, uh, I don't really, well, I don't even know what the name of this thing is. Um, Whimsicott, right? Is fairy type in this generation. So <laughs> I completely get fucked up by the Moon Blast as I bring the Gliscor just to take the hit relatively well because um, you know Genesect cannot really take special hits and it would just be. Um, basically waste uh, this right here I decided to go for the knockoff uh, just so he does not get any recovery because I'm thinking that Whimsicott has no recovery if I'm not mistaken as he just decides to go for the U-turn as I switch out into my d Um of course fearing that I can just um, lock myself into outrage again I just decide to go for the E-speed right here as it turns out that I just kill the Azumarill, I'm choice ban at Adamant, so an E speed does hell of a lot, but I don't want to dive off a rock slide or anything from the Sand True. As he, uh, sent, no, Sand True, uh, the evolution of that. <laughs> I decided to go for a freeze dry with my Mammoth Swine because um, it, I know that this thing is um, defensive, bulky, like defensive and not like especially defensive. So I go for the double freeze dry in here, and here I reveal that also this. Ice Shard, I think he's, he thought that would be a special set, so I didn't carry the Ice, ice Shard. Um, I just go for an EQ on his Life Heart, I'm pretty sure, yeah, just to take this thing out. Um, he goes for Sucker Punch, which does 50%, so hell of a lot. I knew that uh, he's gonna kill me with anything and can just outspeed me, so I went for the Ice Shard just to get some good damage off it. And basically now Zoomscott is his last Pokemon, so I can go into D9 and just finish it off with a choice banded adamant e speed. That's so strong. But um, yeah, so I went against Dundee Showdown. Uh, to be fair, I clearly had the team advantage, but uh, on the other side I have no I had no idea what any of this Pokemon do except for like Lipar, but it turned out that he wasn't the normal Lipar set. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and as I said I will upload a PS Live with this very cool team. 
and peace out. See you later.